That is wonderful. I have not heard that before, but I love it. What's it all about? Oh, the wonderful song about uh, the Melbourne Metropolitan Rail System. Me. Yeah. Are you talking to Simon and Phil? Hey, young Simon. Phil. Good, good, good. Now, what's so? What is the exact story with Men in Suits? How did how did it come about, and what is the driving force behind it? Look, I guess we're just a bunch of men that every week we um, we go about doing our practice. Um, and every, every sort of few weeks we go out and sing in the streets of Melbourne, and it's all, I guess, just pushing the, you know, the meaningless grandeur of being a man in a suit. And, you know, it's all about self-importance and, and basically, I guess, a bunch of blokes being kids just having fun with around Victoria and so forth, and, and even, I guess, community festivals are... Um, mm you know, around the, the Melbourne area. So, Alan, Alan, ever been known to burst into song on a train? Uh, look, we have. We, um, what, uh, you know, one of the things we do about every six weeks is just go into the city and walk the streets of Melbourne. And um, we, we always make a point of singing that Metro song under the, the cloths of uh, <laughs> at Flinders Street. And, but, you know, we've, um, one of the things we like doing is jumping on a tram, singing a song and then getting off and leaving the people thinking, my God, what was all that about? You know? <laughs> yeah. And, oh. um, you know, we just, um, either rings the police or tries to move us on or whatever. <laughs> so, so, Alan, tell us how many are in the group. Look, we've got about um, 20, 25 um, regular members but it can be anything up to sort of you know 30 30 plus on our oh. books you know we've been going about seven years now yeah. and um you know I, I guess at any of the gigs we do you know i mean it can be anything from sort of you know 12 up to the you know the full contingent of 25 but you know we're, we're a group of i guess um we've got quite a few experienced sort of singers here we've got mug singers like myself in there as well that mm. sort of and um but we, we we've always had good musical directors we've got a chap called um chris blaine at the moment yeah. and um he's he's from another group called suede which will be well known around the music traps yeah. and um the, you know they certainly pull us into line and it's so um yes well it's you know it's basically about having fun and going out there and enjoying the singing you know, um, like Bianca um, saw us in, in the mm. hotel where we just sort of, yeah. um, we were having a social night out and then just went around mm. singing to the people in the hotel. We <laughs> we oh. also <laughs> have our, you know, every Thursday night we we do a few hours of sort of serious practice and, mm. um, you know, where our director sort of pulls us into line and, oh. and um, you know, sort of tries to drag a... a nice sort of harmonies out of us. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you all get around? I don't think you dare ride the uh, metro train. So do you get around in the bus or what? No, no, no. Look, we just walk the laneways of um, of Melbourne. You know, we mm. we love going up, um, you know, the Graves um, Street, you know, the little laneway. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah. You know, um, up through there and through some of the hub arcades or uh, the arcades there. And, yeah. do, um, do, you, do you need a busker's licence to do this? Well, we're not busking. We're just... <clears throat> Excuse me, just a bunch of blokes out there singing. So, um, no, I mean, we're, at a few of the venues around the city, we've actually had the police call, and you know, because we know the sort of reaction we're going to get. But as I said, it's all about oh. sort of having fun. And, and yeah, I, I was I was going to say before you mentioned that, I was going to say I think it's a, it sounds like the kind of thing where you could never get a bad reaction from anyone. Mm. But clearly, not everyone's a music lover. Oh, oh look, you know, I mean. That's probably the only issue that we really we really have, you know, with some of the um, mm. conjures and, and so forth that are sort of thinking about, you know, protecting a little bit of turf. But uh, we we never get um, any sort of reaction from any of the the you know passers by or anything, yeah. you know, um, which is sort of negative and you know always puts a, mile, a smile on people's faces and mm. and and likewise, uh, you know, when we see the pleasure we give other people, it's um it's good good for us and it's um you know i guess uh, you know i guess a lot of the songs are about sort of taking the mickey out of being a man in the suit you know being mm. having this meaningless grandeur and uh, you know full of self-importance and so forth mm -hmm. and, and um and and so we're, we're quite happy to sort of 
you know, as I say, take you know, make the fool of themselves. Yeah. Do, do, do you seek fame and notoriety? Like, would you ever come to the Australian Open, which is on now, uh, standing Garden Square, and then as soon as the game's over, just burst into song? Oh, look, I mean, would you tell the guy who run the pub or the restaurant we're about to burst into song, or would you well, catch we had them already, by surprise? Well, we've been there before singing oh. songs, but, I mean, um, look, well, we try to be. You know, yeah. We try to keep that, as I say, that meaningless grandeur that men in the suits have to... Portray. It's all a setup. Now, now as, as mentioned, the, the harmonies are fabulous. There's serious talent there. Do you actually take bookings? Oh, look, we do. We do. And and I, I um, we're you know on top of that, we're always looking for new members. And and um, and I guess sort of just pushing. I, I guess the the thing about men getting out there and singing. You know, and I mean, whether they do it with our group or through this um, community music Victoria mm. that. You know, caters for all sorts of um, people, but you know, we're, as I say, yes, we do take bookings, we do professional sort of gigs, but look, that's not the main intent of it. It's the main intent is, you know, I guess a bit like a men's shed. You know, instead of going along and building things, we're out there, yeah. sort of thing. So, so give us so, a. Have you got a website or we a do. contact for if people yeah. want to employ you for a gig? Yes, it's, it's um, meninsuits.com.au. Oh, that's easy. Yep, and um, or otherwise. You'll see um, we have a Facebook page as well. Yeah. Um, you just have to you know, go to Facebook and put Men in Suits and we should come up. Oh, uh, wonderful. I'll put a link to it on our Facebook page as well for anyone well, who uh, has trouble wonderful. finding it. Yep. Um, Alan, a fabulous effort. I just think the whole thing is wonderful. When Bianca described what she saw, I thought, I, I just, I love the spontaneity of it. And to me, it seems like a very Melbourne sense of humour type thing to be doing. I, I just think it's a great job you do. Well, thank you for that. And as I say, it's it's more than our pleasure to sort of go out there. And, you know, as I say, we do it for the pleasure we get out of it. And you know what we see um, other people, you know, the pleasure they get from listening to us. You know, as, yeah. I, as I guess all performers do. Well, love your work. Meninsuits.com.au is the uh, the web address to check out these guys. And what's what's your slogan? Uh, you, you you sing un, unpredictable songs in or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, that's it. The um, basically inappropriate songs <laughs> at, at inappropriate times. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of these days you'll all get arrested, I reckon. Well, we hope so. We and, hope so. And we hope, we hope to see it on the news so you get even more publicity. All right. Uh, Good luck, Alan. All right. Well, thanks, thanks a lot, Simon. Okay. No worries. Uh, That's Alan Stevens, the, uh, one of the originators of Men in Suits. There should be more of that. Isn't it just fabulous? Oh, yes. In these days of so much doom and gloom, it's a very British thing to do, isn't it? It is, yes. It's very Monty Python somehow. Now,